This is the process shot. I'm Michael. I'm at room temperature. And I've seen Winter's Blight, a sort of fantasy stop-motion short film from Claire Campbell made back in 2019. It follows an old man's struggle to keep his small forest home heated, having no choice but to cut down the oldest tree on his property. It's a task which takes him a few days to accomplish due to its size and his waning strength, as well as another complication, a pine cone which has fallen from the tree and, with newfound sentience, tries to stop the old man from cutting down his home. The story is pretty simple and straightforward, setting up character and conflicts well. That's not too much of an accomplishment, given that this is a short film, but I've seen enough movies where that's not the case, so seeing it done competently is a relief. Anyways, it also helps that the film's cast is literally two characters, and is literally in one location. And that conflict is so simple and understandable that it can be told even without dialogue, which is exactly what occurs here. Neither character talks, but it's made clear through their actions just what their desires and intentions are which makes the movie a rather good example of how to tell a story without actually saying anything. It does cram a bit of explicit backstory at the tail end of the film, and while it's informative, it does feel a bit out of place. The visuals of Winter's Blight are very stylized, taking up a sort of older or aged aesthetic, which is not only unique, but appropriate for the story, or rather for the old man, who is, well, old. The film's colors are also pretty nice at expressing the winter setting, with a special attention to sunlight breaking through the clouds as an explicit example of the weather. Overall, I feel like Winter's Blight is a very solid short film, with a unique artistic design and a story that's easy to understand. It may not have much staying power, but it's not easily forgettable. Winter's Blight Claire Campbell, 2019 Four stars. I definitely give it a watch. That's it for the review. If you liked it, leave me a like. If you didn't, leave a comment. Subscribe to the channel for more reviews. Um, sorry that this one is so short. I mean, it, it's a short review about a short film, so it's only expected. Maybe I need to watch these movies twice if I want to make the reviews longer. Have I already said that? I need to take notes about what I say.